Okay. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video that I have planned for about a week now and I'm looking forward to doing this. Today I'm going to take you guys along with me in like a day in my life type of vlog style. I've noticed that I really do like these vlog videos so I want to do more of them. Today's video is more centered towards like a 2023 reset. I just... I don't know, it's the new year and I want to do something fun and something different, change some things up. I have a bunch of things planned today. The first thing is I got a haircut this morning. I got some layers. This is just kind of like the haircut I've been doing recently. Also, have you guys noticed anything different? I I got my nose pierced. Um, I had I had my nose pierced probably like a few years ago and then I had to take it out because I got surgery. I decided to get re pierced again. I hope it looks good. Back to this video. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of things I'm planning to do today. So, like I said, I got my hair cut, I got my nose pierced, and now it is about 10:45 a.m. Well overdue for breakfast, so I'm gonna go to a coffee shop. I've been in my like coffee shop era recently. Like I've literally been going to coffee shops, just sitting down, reading, putting my headphones on. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing for this morning. And then I'm gonna go to Target. I have to do a few things, or I have to pick up a few things there. I also want to go to Barnes and Noble maybe get a few new books i say i'm gonna get one book or two books but yeah and then lastly which i think is gonna be the most time consuming is i am gonna decorate and reorganize my car and clean it it's pretty gross in here i did do a video i think last year decorating and organizing my car and i think this year i'm just feeling it like i just want to change up my car as you can see behind me is an amazon box that i've been holding on to for this video and yeah i have a bunch of new things i'm gonna be putting in my car replacing some things because it's just much needed we're in 2023 this is the year that things are going to go right hopefully there's a lot of change up this year in my life so that's all i have planned so far i hope i get everything done first thing first is to get some breakfast because i'm so hungry i will see you guys in a little bit what i got at barnes and noble so i bought two books usually when i go to barnes and noble or any like bookstore i have a plan i usually have like a plan so i'll put in my notes on my phone like two or more books that i want to buy because that way if they don't have one of the books then maybe they'll have like another book the first book that i got now it's not focused First book that I got is The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I believe that's how you, you say her name. The second book is Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. I think both of these books are like mystery slash thriller books. And I've honestly recently been into mystery thriller books. Some books that I've read recently that are thriller related is The Perfect Child by Lucinda Berry and most recent book I read is The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. I think that's how you say your name? Frida McFadden. That's her name. I wrote, I read those both on my Kindle and I actually really enjoyed those. I liked The Perfect Child more. I literally read that in like two days. The Housemaid, it was okay. It was like three out of five stars on Goodreads. But yeah, when I started first reading, I read All Your Perfects by Colin Hoover. And I feel like Colin Hoover is just someone that is an easy read, fast read. And like, you don't have to like really think about what you're reading. It's pretty self-explanatory as to what's going on in the story. And I only started with her because 
she's literally like everywhere like on tiktok and on youtube everyone talks about her everyone pretty much knows who she is in her books but i discovered that i just kind of want to open my authors and be more open-minded on the authors that i read not saying that i won't read colin hoover again but i feel like i just want books that are more so directed towards like my age i guess like colin hoover is like young adult does that make sense i don't know i have recently been really really liking mystery thriller books and i wanted to buy more i am currently reading the first book from the addicted series addicted to you i think that's what it's called on my kindle and i'm enjoying it so far but i feel like like i don't know if i'm gonna read them all in order because i feel like i'll just get burned out because there's so many books in the series so I, always, I do like books like standalone books that don't have any duologies or anything like that does that make sense okay so let's just get into that i spent way more money than i thought i would this book is actually hardcover i used to literally be so against hardcovers but honestly i'm trying to be more open-minded with the books i read and the authors i read so at this point it's just like reading is reading to me and i don't know we'll see how i feel about this hardcover book when i read it the house across the lake is about casey fletcher she's a recently widowed actress trying to escape a streak of bad press has retreated to the peace and quiet of her family's lake house in Vermont. So Tom and Catherine Royce live in a house across the lake from her and I guess they like, start talking to, to each other or something. Casey pretty much just watches them like on the daily I guess across the lake to see what they're doing and in the summary over here it says that when Catherine suddenly vanishes, Casey immediately suspects Tom of foul play. What she doesn't realize is that there's more to the story than meets the eye and that shocking secrets can lurk beneath the most placid of surfaces. I hope it's not easy guess. Like I, I feel like the books that I've read that are thriller, mystery are kind of easy to, pre or like are predictable I would say. So I hope that I'm coming in for a lot of surprises with this. Same thing with this book, Rock, Paper, Scissors. I've been meaning to read this book. I'll just read the back, I guess. So, things have been wrong with Mr. and Mrs. Wright for a long time. Every anniversary, the couple exchange traditional gifts and Adam's wife writes him a letter she never lets him read until now. Self-confessed workaholic Adam Wright has face blindness. He can't even recognize his own wife and Amelia is sick of feeling unseen. When Adam and Amelia went a weekend away to Scotland, it might be just what their ma marriage needs this weekend may or make may make or break their marriage but th but they didn't randomly win this trip one of them is lying and someone doesn't want them to live happily ever after i feel like with a lot of these books that have husband and wife in them like there's always a twist like you would suspect that the husband is the bad person but then like the wife ends up being the bad person so i don't know that's what i'm guessing is gonna happen in these two books but We'll find out and i'm really really excited i need a break from romance i know there's gonna be romance in here but i really hope that they're not centered on romance necessarily but trust me romance has my heart i love romance books my last trip is to go to target i want to get a few things for my car organized it's pretty gross in here like i said earlier so that's my little update you guys i hope you are enjoying this video so far i hope it's not boring i don't know okay let's see you at target just got down the target I'll show you guys what i got i only got a few things so the first thing i got for my car and i really hope this doesn't stain anything but i got these um interior detailer wipes i'm just gonna use them for like my steering wheel dashboard and stuff like that you'll see and then i got this i got aquaphor i have like the mini version like the handheld one yeah. i have this one but I'm running out. I mean, this has lasted me a while, but I feel like it's good to have a big one just so I don't have to refill up very often. And the last thing I got are my makeup wipes. I, the way I've been taking off my makeup is literally just like using a washcloth and water, but I think it would be a good idea to use these. That's all I got. Also, while I'm here, I'm literally in the parking lot of Target, but I might as well just kind of like unbox a few things I got off Amazon to decorate my car and organize it and then I'll just kind of show you guys what I do with it all. This is what I got. First thing first, I got this um like cute little box or not box. I got this what is this called? Like folder like thing. It's sparkly and it's supposed to keep my registration and 
insurance and stuff like that. So it has these pockets. And I think in this I can put my AAA card or whatever. I thought that'd be cute, just simple. Oh, so I got these license plate frames. Here's they're sparkly and I got this in like a, it's called champagne on Amazon. Oh, all this stuff is all from Amazon, by the way. If you want to know, you can, I can link them down below. But yeah, so I didn't realize that this came in only a pack of one. So I, when I like re-looked at my cart, I purchased the second one. I, my old ones, if you guys saw from my first organized my car with me, like a year ago, got a black, like the black glossy sparkly ones and those kind of fell apart and i was thinking about getting the same ones but i wanted to switch it up champagne color which i love i have this key fob called like a key fob protector it's like a like a white color and you just put your key fob in here you no know, over time it's gonna get worn down and i see there's some scratches on it so i decided just to get kind of a protector and it also comes with this thing that attaches to your keys, I think. I actually don't know what this is, necessarily. And I don't know what this is for. Like, what is that? I'll figure it out. Hopefully it works. I don't- I don't know what I'm doing. Kinda of just throwing my trash on the ground. Next thing I got... Alright, so I think I'm gonna return this. I'm not sure. I thought it would be bigger, but I got this. It's a glove compartment, glove box organizer, and I got it because I have all this, like, paperwork that, you know, when you go to, like, the dealership and get your oil change done and stuff like that. I have that paperwork, and it's literally just been loose in my car, and it's kind of bugging me, but I don't think that the papers are gonna work. Like, I think they're only gonna fit if they are folded and I don't think a lot can fit in here so I'm a little disappointed I thought it'd be a good idea because like it's more organized and then it goes like that but I don't think my papers are gonna fit in it you know it's like this stuff it doesn't fit it may fit like this like when I fold it but still it's not gonna hold much. So I think I'm just gonna get a regular folder. I have a bunch of them at home. I'll do that. So I may return this, but I'm, I'm like bummed out because it came with these like tabs that you put on them um, right here. And I thought it'd be cute. Like I thought it'd be a good place for my, you know, my cards and my registration stuff, but oh well, it's fine. I guess I'll get some money back. All right, next, I got this last year, so I have these dynamic coasters and i bought another pair i don't know why i did but i did because i wanted to change up the color here it is i got the it's like i think it's red this red color in the back of my trunk and i'll show you i have a bag that has a lot of safety things a cable for a car cable or whatever just to jump start your car and it's like a big bag and then I have a folder, or I have like a bin in my back, and I feel like it just takes up too much space, and I always hear it moving when I'm like turning into spaces, so it's kind of annoying. So I got this organizer thing, and I don't know how big it is, but yeah, it's a car trunk organizer. And I'll open it in a bit, like when I go back there, but I feel like it'll just make things a lot easier if I have everything in here at once and it'll be easier to like grab with my bag. It's like I have to open it and shove things back in there. So that's that. Mom's friend gave me this. This is from Bath and Body Works. Lastly, I believe the last thing I got is this. They're like little plants hangers for your mirror. Right now I have the rosary and this star moon thing and i do i like it but i just i want a change so so like open it i don't know how do you open this i don't know how to open this look at these little plants and then this thing and it's supposed to go in there i think okay then all right i think i did it right I don't know how I feel about this. I thought these would be smaller. 
I'm kind of chunky and I don't know how to open this. Oh, there we go. I got it. It's, I was opening it from the wrong side. All right. We'll see. There's another. I don't know how I feel about all that. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, so I have this trash bag. I'm gonna just get rid of the contents in it. The other trash that's in my car. All right, next I'm taking these down. Cute. I'm gonna put my registration and insurance in this.